All right, so now we're looking at the AP Calculus AB 2024 um, AB free response number four. If there are any corrections or any mistakes I make, I will put it in the uh, pinned comment. Um, graph of the differentiable function has a horizontal tangent line at x equals negative two. So they're just saying right there, it's horizontal. Okay, fair enough. And is linear from zero to seven. Oh, kind of interesting piecewise. Let R be the region of the second quadrant bounded by the graph F and the vertical line X equals negative six. Okay, fair enough. Um, region R has an area of 12. Okay, the function F of G is defined by this. Find the values of this. Okay, so first part is we're literally just going to do G of negative six, which means we're just going to plug that into there. So it's a zero to negative six of F of T DT. And I always do, when, I have, when I'm looking at area, I'm always going to switch the bounds, go left to right. So negative integral from negative 6 to 0, f of t dt. So I want the area from negative 6 to 0. That has an area of 12, so this becomes negative 12. Okay, then g of 4 is going to be the integral, plugging into here, 0 to 4, of f of t dt. So that's going to be the area from 0 to 4. Now, they said this is a straight line. So this is just simply a triangle right here. That's that area. So it's 1 half. The base is 4. And the height looks like 2. So that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. And then they asked for g of 6. Wow, they asked for three of these. OK, f of t dt. So you're going to take this area that's, we're already going left to right. So you're taking the area here that's 4, and then you're going to take away this area here. This is negative area. So it's 1 half, the base is 2, and the height is negative 1. So that's negative 1. So this is going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, B. For the function to find a part A, find all the values in which the graph of G has a critical point. So critical point is where the derivative is equal to 0. What is the derivative of this thing? Fundamental theorem of calculus, you just plug that x into there, you get f of x is equal to 0. Where is f of x equal to 0? Well, that's the y value. This is a graph of f. So where that occurs are where the y values are 0. And that occurs right at 4. OK, and anywhere else? Um, it's also where it's undefined, technically. But I don't see any areas where it's undefined. So f of x is defined everywhere, so it should be fine. OK, cool. The function h is defined by this. Find the values of h of 6, h prime of 6, h double prime of 6, and show you the works. OK, so first one is h of 6, which you're literally just going to plug 6 in here. It's going to be the integral of negative 6 to 6, f prime of t dt. Well, how do you do this? Well, you take the antiderivative of this, right, which is f, and then you plug in 6, and you plug in negative 6, and you subtract them. So that's just literally going to be f of 6 minus so that's the y values here. f of 6 is negative 1. And f of negative 6 is 0 0.5. So this is going to be negative 1.5. How about h prime of 6? Well, first you've got to take the derivative of this thing, which is u plugging x into there. So that is literally f prime of x. OK? And so h prime of 6 is literally the same as f prime at 6. f prime at 6, well, this is a graph of f f prime of 6 is the slope of the tangent line here. So it does extend forever, so it is differentiable. So we just want to know the slope of this line. Well, it goes over 2 and down 1, so that's a slope of negative 1 half. OK, so rise is negative 1, run is 2. And then finally, h double prime. h double prime of x is you're just going to take the derivative of this thing. That's simply f double prime of x. And so h double prime at 6 is equal to f double prime at 6. And what is the second derivative? Well, this is a straight line, right? Second derivative of a straight line has no concavity. Or the second derivative, if I, if I have any straight line, the second derivative is always 0, like that.